I'm Matt Stolper. I'm a professor at the Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago, and I'm also the director of the Persepolis Fortification Archive Project. These tablets are completely extraordinary. There's nothing like them that's ever been found, and they provide a unique set of complex information about the languages, the history, the society, the institutions, uh, the art of the Achaemenid Persian Empire seen from its very heartland and providing this complex set of information in a way that represents its original complexity requires modern digital tools. Doing that by ourselves would be a real challenge, but we're really fortunate in this project to have collaboration from a number of scholars from other institutions. Um, I have members of our editorial board from several in different institutions, from Vanderbilt University, from universities in Europe, from Trinity University in Texas. And we also have a lot of cooperation from a very experienced group at uh, the West Semitic Research Project at the University of Southern California, who have been making very high quality images of documents of this kind for quite some time. And these collaborators are going to tell you something about their work. Uh, these tablets are on loan uh, from Iran to the Oriental Institute. We are in sort of an emergency digitizing project to get as much data as we can uh, from these very important tablets, which basically give a sense of a whole administrative system at, at one of the ancient palaces of the Persian Empire. There are the Elamite tablets, which have a kind of a cuneiform writing system. Then there are tablets with just seal impressions and tablets with Aramaic inscriptions primarily written in ink. We can capture the tablets that are written with ink very well, both in visible light and using infrared filters and other kinds of colored filters in order to bring the, the ink out of the tablets. Aramaic starts in what would be today Syria around the beginning of the first millennium BCE. During the Persian Empire, actually, it starts spreading. People know it primarily because it's the language that was spoken by Jesus. Uh, but we have a lot of Aramaic even it, during this e era, and we, Aramaic is spoken even today. One thing that is very important, we have an, a a very sizable sample of language. We don't have many archives of this size. So what I can find, for example, is that there are words that I know were used later in later dialects of Aramaic, but they weren't but I didn't know they were used at this time and I'm finding them in these tablets. So for an Aramaic it's this is quite and an important discovery, definitely. Some of the other data, for example, the seal impressions uh, in particular um, are very difficult to light well using a conventional camera setup. We're working here trying to uh, create images of small tablets that enable researchers to interactively move the light around the object on the computer screen. We have constructed a device which uh, it consists of a hemisphere and with 32 different lights spaced around the hemisphere. Uh, we know the precise location of each of those lights. And by uh, photographing 32 times from each of those known positions, we can run a software program that will create a file that enables the scholar to pull up an image on the screen and relight the object from any infinite number of angles around the light. Thank you.